What's going on everyone, Austin John Plays here, and today we're going to be going over how you could get the Frostbite armor set in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The Frostbite armor set, unlike the Ember set, is a set that you may have not just stumbled across randomly. It's actually going to be hidden in three separate caves, actually one of them you may have stumbled across of. You know what? We're going to do that one first. This is the Bright Cap Cave, and it's located right here next to the Lucky Clover Gazette, and there's a shrine right next to it, so let's go there and head on over. If you head on over to the cave, there's actually going to be a couple of travelers outside. Hey, ladies. There are a lot of other caves open by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. We need to gather all those bright caps. Oh, and apparently they want some bright caps. So there you go. Here's 10 bright caps. Thank you for the spicy tomato soup. And these two girls are going on about something. And then they say we're scouring high and low for something here in the Heber region. We searched most of the south. So now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Oh. Okay. By Megan, spelled strangely. <laughs> Cave mushrooms that glow. The side quest, and I think it's automatically complete because we gave it to him. Yep, okay. Great, you obviously know we're in the right place because we have Misko's banner showing up. And once we go on and head inside, there's gonna be some horror blends in here to deal with. There's gonna be a like like in the way, and I'm just gonna get rid of him because his music was too loud. And as you head on up, you wanna make a sh quick right, and you're gonna be seeing some pricklies in place of the actual altar that we need to get to. Can I just hop over this? Yeah, we did it. First try. And that's gonna be the frostbite shirt, which gives us cold weather attack. We're gonna go over what cold weather attack does in just a little bit. But now let's go ahead and get our second piece of the frostbite armor, which is gonna be here at the Hebra head spring. You're gonna be seeing this head spring over here, and it's gonna be right at the very top of it. I'm just gonna go down from the Sky Islands. As we come down here, when we make our approach, you're gonna be seeing a running stream going on. From this running stream, we actually need to make our way inside, and luckily, there's a place that you can walk, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. You know, the whole freezing to death part. Unfortunately, once you're in here, it's all ice water, so how you wanna handle this is completely up to you. These are all icy walls, so you could either get out some froggy armor, level three, with the set bonus, that way you're not gonna be slipping all over the place. You could put a sapphire and then make yourself a nice little bridge to walk on, but me personally, I'm just gonna go ahead, take out a Zonai fan, put it upright, turn it on, then use this updraft to come over here, and that's gonna be our destination. If you look inside, you can even see the altar from here. Now these keys, if they touch you, Mid-flight, you're uh, you're gonna fall down to the ground all froze, and you're gonna be in the water, you're gonna have to swim out, it's gonna be a whole big pain in the butt, so I recommend just disposing of them, which I'm doing a horrible job at. How's that sound? That was a weird sound. I've never heard that sound before. Oh, maybe it's because I hit the, the banner. Anyways, Talon, can you just can you just get me over there? Telling can get you pretty much all the way across, and there's the keys thing I was just talking about. I'm just gonna put this froggy armor on. After all, what did I get it for if I'm not actually gonna use it at its most beneficial time, right? And inside of here are the frostbite trousers, our second piece of frostbite armor. Are those girls outside? There's a little camp over there. Maybe it is them. Nope, this doesn't look like the same person at all. Are you just someone to let me know about this cave yeah. and, it, and it holding Misko's treasure? Yep, you sure are. Well, the third and final piece that we are going to be getting is going to be here at the Lake Kilsey Cave. You may remember this from Breath of the Wild. There was like a weird place that you had to enter and then take an updraft in. But now we're just going to go ahead and coast on down. But as we make our way closer to the surface, you're going to be seeing this cave. Very subtle, kind of hard to see. Again, right here on the map. We have some horriblins to deal with. Yes, land in the water, thank you. Now can I have your stuff? Thank you. We have a few different ways that we can go. And that's where we came in from. This top area over here has a booble frog and booble gem inside. Directly across from where you came in is going to be just a chest with a feathered edge. And you're also gonna see this platform down here. And this platform, if you look straight across, we're gonna be focusing on those icicles over there and then that rock behind them. So all you need to do is go ahead and glide on over. Take care of this rock wall any way that you'd like. I like cannon shields. And over here is gonna be our altar. And that's the frostbite headdress. 
Now, when it comes to cold weather attack, how this works is once you do a combo or a charged attack, you're going to be having a little bit of frost coming out of you. Oh, I'm too warm right now. Okay, let's go back outside. Okay, now we're outside and now we're in cold weather. If I do a combo, at that very end, you're going to be seeing that ice come out of me. Alternatively, you just do a spin attack and that's going to do the same thing, which can generate some ice for you anytime that you want. So that's pretty convenient. You don't need to put a sapphire on a weapon in order to get this ice that comes out. And then you go ahead and make yourself an ice stick or literally ice anything. And then you could use that to bridge over pretty much any gap that you can need. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most helpful of all of the different types of the weather attack because chances are if you need to cross a large body of water it's because you don't want to enter the water because it's freezing cold now every additional level of this armor that you have on you're going to be getting a larger circle and then once we have the full level three we have a lot of ice that comes out of us now here's the thing even though this is a cold weather attack, you are not going to be getting any sort of cold protection. See how in the bottom right we are freezing and also all over the screen we are freezing. At this point, it's kind of recommended that you keep at least one piece of that snow quill armor. That way you're not going to have any issues with that. Or if you went ahead and found a Zant's helmet for unfreezable, that can help in some scenarios. When it comes to upgrading the frostbite armor, level one is only going to require three ice fruit, very affordable. Level two is going to require five ice breath lazolfo horns and five winter wing butterflies. Winter wing butterflies can be found, I know for a fact, by at the Lake of the Horse God, which is going to be right down here, just south of the Highland Stable. Here's the Lake of the Horse God. This is where you found your giant white horse. And then also, I believe the beetle vendors in the colder regions and probably also the traveling vendors, they're going to typically be selling about three each. So I'm going to stop there first. Hey, I found the girls, the girls from earlier in the video. Oh, and their tent was captured by monsters. Okay, if I go help out their tent, do they tell me about this piece of armor I already got? Can I just poop it all? Sure can. The quest done now? Yep, it sure is. Hi girls, I did the thing. Are you gonna tell me about the, the armor that I already got? Thank you for the spicy steam mushrooms. We're hunting for a fabled place, a haven of mushrooms. Sternita Basin near a pond in Hebra at the source of the steam lies a bright mushroom haven. Are they talking about the Sternita Springs cave? I didn't realize that was a mushroom haven, but okay. Uh, we need to go find Beetle. Nope, he only has the warm ones. Cool. Beetle, do you have them? Nope, he doesn't. Okay, found him. Great. He does have winter wing butterflies. So let's go ahead and buy his three butterflies. He's also going to be having Thunderwing Butterflies that I'm going to need very shortly. Now I'm just going to go ahead, place down a travel medallion, head back to my house on the other side of the world, which last night I may or may not have spent like six hours doing a complete renovation of my house. Let's go ahead and sleep until tomorrow. And just to ensure a proper amount of time has passed, I'm going to sleep till morning again. And doing that should restock him up. And it sure did. Great. If I didn't need both of these butterflies, the thunder wings being harder to get, I would probably just go to the horse of the lake god and get them that way, but I might as well do this. By the way, just to let you know, during my where's the armor videos, I typically put together like, you know, all the resources you need. I have a video coming out that I'm almost done working on that's every single piece of armor in the entire game with all the requirements that you need to upgrade it and all the set bonuses and everything you need that's and I'm also making a Google Sheet that you could just download, so there's that. Once you go ahead and put on all three pieces on set level two, you're gonna have cold weather charge. Cold weather charge is gonna make it that way whenever you hold down the charge attack button, you're gonna charge up much, much faster. That's without it, and that's with it. You charge your attacks much, much faster, that way you get your winter damage out faster. All it does is if you decide to hold down the letter Y, you're just going to be charging that faster. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's what you're going to get for upgrading this to level two. But it does look dope. It's it's stylized after Nadra, you know, the ice dragon, which is pretty neato. Well, anyways, guys, what do you think about this? The frostbite armor in Tears of the Kingdom. Is it totally awesome or is it just another armor you're going to get just to get it? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. Until next time, Austin John out.